Raphael Signs, a specialist in designing, printing, signage, all vehicle branding, 3D signage and window branding, indoor and outdoor signs. For all your banner designs and print, contact us for a free quotation on the numbers on your screen or email or visit us at 91 Livingstone, Corner 8 Street in Harare. Raphael Signs, our portfolio speaks for itself. Monday, 17 June 2024. It's getting chilly across the country, but our mass markets continue to play their very, very important role of directing diverse farmers into a range of revenue streams. Of course, we can't all produce maize, we can't all produce tomatoes, neither can we all produce tobacco and hope to build a very strong economy. It is through our mass markets where we see the diversity of our food system. Like I always say, more than 100 commodities are traded, are produced in Zimbabwe and traded on mass markets. Mass markets continue to give us a positive aspect of our food system. We have to really encourage our farmers to produce, encourage traders to do the right thing. This is very important, really. Today, supplies of potatoes have increased slightly. We see price, price knocking down. Being a Monday is a very busy day for many people. Traders are coming from rural growth points to come and buy from the mass market, which is the biggest aggregator and distributor of food systems in the, in the country, which is where prices are also determined, really, in a big way. Potato charts today, four to five, not much change. Small, if changed slightly in price, five to eight dollars a pocket medium nine to ten large eleven dollars extra large twelve dollars today is down by two dollars compared to the last week tomato standard today 16 to 20 US dollars 30 kg standard it's an increase in prices as well quality is quite good uh, quite chill in the morning people buying you know for doing different things wooden box dollar fifty two dollars dollar plus dish dollar vegetables and cabbage sweet sensor dollar not much change uh, Above, above about 100 heads of 100,000 heads of cabbages have come into the market today. Covo, two to three dollars a bundle, not much change. Rape and Tsunga, dollar, dollar fifty a bundle. Supplies are increasing. Sweet beetroot, few cents a dollar. Red cabbage, dollar two dollars. King onion, 10 kg pocket, 10, 10 to 11 dollars, not much change there. Red, uh, red onion, 12 to 13. Fresh onion, dollar to two shallots, dollar. Mbora, two dollars from uh, irrigation schemes, two dollars a bundle. And then, of course, the fresh, fresh oyster and butter mushroom, dollar. Corn from broccoli, dollar, dollar fifty kg. Garlic, three to four dollars a kg. Ginger, 50 cents to a dollar. Supplies are quite high. Many people are doing value addition of ginger, which will be very interesting. Let's have more value addition happening in our mass markets. Chili pepper, uh, green pepper is always cherry tomato, or a two dollars a kg. Red and yellow pepper, two dollars a kg. Baby marrow, 20, 24 dollars a kg. A, 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 a crate, I mean, a crate of baby marrow, doing very well, competing very well in the market. Let's sweet cents, gem squashy, three to four dollars a kg. Pumpkins, dollar to eight dollars each. The biggest pumpkin is going for eight dollars, doing very well, really. Usually, the medium pumpkins are the ones that test very well compared to the bigger. One. That's what happens in the mass market. Feedback from uh, consumers is very interesting, really. Okra, dollar two dollars a five liter tin. Okra production is continuing to increase across the country. The parsley, fifty cents. A bundle, radish dollar two dollars a bundle, celery dollar, and then coriander mean twenty five cents a bundle, leek dollar bundle, and then white carrot dollar two dollars a bundle, bottle guard dollar fifty fifty cents, bitter guard fifty cents as well, deer and fennel fifty cents. So really, there's a whole range of um, uh, herbs that are produced in, in peri urban areas as well as bio, in backyard gardens, doing very well. This is a quite good, uh, diverse food system. Really, very interesting. We can't all produce tomato, tomato like I said. We need to be, to diversify our food system in a way that is very good. Dried foods, um, matemba, the means thirty five dollars a twenty liter bucket. Six kg back 240 US dollars we don't have Madura in Magandari really in a big way uh, sugar been 34 dollars a 20 liter bucket supplies are increasing slightly steadily really so I chunk 22 dollars in uh, 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 5 kg then Mfushwa 12 to 14 dollars a 20 liter bucket of Munyemba Munyemba 16 dollars a 20 liter bucket as well together with the Munyemba Cove and Cabbage remains at 8 20 dollars a bucket dried fish dollar to 10 dollars 10 dollars being the biggest fish in the market high value crops with potato we see an increase in supply of potatoes continues to be quite steady really across all the country in Harare, above 80 tons or so of potatoes coming sweet potatoes i mean coming into the market diverse parts, parts of market including chikwana high food and others really sweet potatoes are also finding their way to blow market from Gokwe and Buhera and other places including mashingo zaka really very interesting sweet potato today to five to eight dollars 20 liter bucket in price wise six to kg big 40 45 dollars and then makugoya eight to nine dollars a 20 liter bucket six to kg big 90 us dollars but 10 kg four to six dollars six to kg big today 30 35 US dollars 
really doing very well really above 70 tons of supplies of supplies of bananas coming into the market into big markets carrots 25 to 30 dollars a 60 kg bags the price is quite fair green pepper 15 to 20 is an increase in price compared to last week fine beans 35 to 25 to 30 years dollars a 60 kg bag also to supplies coming in very well cucumber 15 to 17 peas 30 35 dollars a 60 kg bag is coming in a big way now sugar can bundle 6 to 8 dollars and then of course we have green millet dozen 2 dollars 50 3 dollars green millet dozen dozen is always found in the market across even across roadside markets fruit basket as usual more than 25 types of fruit in the market Freshness continues to increase around the fruits. Apple box 18 to 20. Some coming from South Africa, some coming from local production areas. And then avocado avocado basket 15 to 18 dollars. And then of course with banana ripe uh, crate is going for 9 to 11 dollars. Ripe and ripe banana 90 kg 50 years dollars. Strawberries 14 dollars. Crate popo 1 to 2. Coconut 50 cents to a dollar. Also coming in the from Mozambique. Watermelon dollar to 3 dollars. Mzalabani continues to lease the pack in the supplies of watermelon. It looks like uh, our dry regions like uh, Bed Bridge, uh, Vic Falls, uh, as well as Mzalabani are major sources of watermelon. The watermelon do very well in dry regions. This is very interesting really. So there is no region which can be said to be a dry a drought prone to a point where it can't produce anything. No, no, no. Dry regions produce the best watermelon in Zimbabwe, which is very interesting. That's what climate change is teaching us. Really, we need to do something about that. Amashamba majodo, dollar fifty two dollars fifty. Oblawayo, as well as Midlands, Gweru, and then of course we have a Masao two dollars five liter tin. Rusika two dollars five liter tin. Ni two dollars five liter tin. Chuvu two dollars fifty five liter tin. Big buckets are going for about eight to ten dollars. Then of course Mauyu, that's the power fruit dollar two dollars five liter tin. Four to six dollars twenty a bucket, and that's when we crack the ones. Really. The orange is three to six dollars in a, a five liter a, a pocket coming from mostly coming from Bed Bridge now. Avocado peas nine dollars a crate, nuts fourteen eight dollars a crate, pineapples eight dollars a crate, lemon two to three dollars in a, a basket or a bucket of lemon. A lemon I will show on song now. Grapes fourteen fifteen dollars a crate, lime, lime lemon eight dollars a crate, mato way two dollars a five liter tin is still coming in very well from diverse regions, dry regions as well as sources of mato way, just as the sources of food, masawe and other fruits, which showing that really. In a changing climate, we can really survive on our indigenous food in a very interesting way. We need to support them. Policymakers should put resources towards indigenous food. The same way they support wheat and tobacco. We need to divert our resources and focus on indigenous food, which is doing very well. It's actually a, 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 an avenue for getting many people participating in the economy when they are able to sell what they, they are producing. Food crops. The maize grain remains at 8 to 10 dollars a bucket. Maize umare, 24 tons dollars a bucket. And zungu musho, 33 dollars a 20 liter bucket. Fresh and zungu, 8 dollars a bucket. And then I showed banana, 7 9 dollars a bucket. Maragrana has 19 dollars a bucket. Nimo showed 24 dollars a bucket. Many people love Mutakura. Nimo is doing very well at the moment. Fresh Nimo, 19 dollars a bucket. Come from Zambia. So I've been 20 years dollars a 20 liter bucket. Wheat, top 15 dollars a 20 liter bucket. Popcorn, 16, 17. Sunflower, 8 to 9 dollars a bucket. Munga, that's pure millet, 12 to 15 dollars a bucket. Rio, 20 dollars a 20 liter bucket. Brown rice and white rice all remains at 50, 60 dollars a 20 liter bucket of shelled. And shelled, 30 US dollars. Of course, my food, red and white program, 8 to 9 dollars a 20 liter bucket. Cowpeas, Nyemba, 25, 25 to 30. It's to really lead the pack there. Cowpeas demand is actually high at the moment. So it looks like we should be able to produce cowpeas under irrigation. Who says we can't? So we need to do that. We have a lot of water. Let's encourage our farmers to diversify. Let's have cowpeas production at a high level. This is another crop that is being you know, ignored by many people assuming that it's a rain, rain fed crop. But it can be irrigated as well. Life sustainability in order and broilers, 5 to 6, not much change. Mothers, 8 to 9 dollars. These are live chickens. Off layers, 4 dollars each. Roadrunner hens are going for 6 to 7 dollars. Cocks are going for 10 dollars each. Hunger, guinea farmer, 10 dollars. 6 to 8 dollars each Daxi, eight to ten dollars. She take is to fifteen to twenty dollars, twenty five dollars each. Vision, two dollars, two dollars fifty each, or four to five dollars for two. Rabbit is eight top dollars each. And it looks like we need to create a very strong market for our indigenous chickens. The same way broilers are marketed is the same way we should market our indigenous chickens. The demand is actually increasing now. Many restaurants, many consumers really are discovering that no, our indigenous food are actually very good. Indigenous chickens, particularly, really, which is very interesting. X, uh, crate of small X, $3.50. It's not changing much. Medium X, $3.80. A large X, $4.00. Uh, $4 a crate of large. So there's quite some grading that happens in our X system as well. Processed food, there's a whole range of processing that happens in our SME industry. We need to support our own processors rather than importing food that is processed. We can do a lot by supporting our own people to really process food. And the first cooking oil made from sunflower seed remains at $3.00 a 2 liter. And then, of course, we have Maheu. Uh, it's going for $2.00 a packet of 50 millimeter. Six dollars fifty a ten kg pork. Not much change. Then of course we have one liter to two dollars fifty three dollars. Not much change. She made us six dollars five thirteen people allowed to do their own my hill. And then of course the demand for where's Rio, our indigenous food is increasing at the moment from the medical field. Really, doctors are prescribing our own indigenous food is being very relevant for fighting a lot of ailments. That's why I find it. 
demand for processed indigenous food of where you eight dollars five liter tin of where munga still was found together to form a food of where cassa of where soya or still was five liter tin of where we tin it was a five liter tin that people love their own food for it for bread making and other thing other uses cassa of a wolf ten was a five liter tin of one punga ten was five liter tin as well then of course we have our own macaroni tea and other indigenous masamba uh, teas of six to eight dollars twenty liter bag so really uh, being a monday our markets are quite dynamic today very busy early in the morning uh, vendors traders they're all busy uh, bring, uh, selling food. And then, of course, we have many people coming to buy from many areas. It is very interesting. Farmers uh, being able to use our mass markets as a cash, source of cash, really. That's their own ATM. Yes, they may not be ex included financially, but uh, the markets ensure that people get included, those who are excluded by other markets. Uh, and the formal economy, they are included in the mass market, which is why we need to support our mass markets. We continue to have issues around the Z currency. Is, uh, availability remains quite scarce, especially for change and other purposes. Like I said, we need to support our own currency. It should not just be used for change. It should be able to use it to buy. So RBZ, please, it doesn't help to keep the uh, money, it, it, maybe at home link and other formal institutions. There's no reason why we shouldn't bring our, our, our currency to where the action is. It, the economy is now shifting is in the mass market. Most of the actors in the mass market don't even go to the bank. They don't even have bank accounts. It's a cash economy we're talking about here. If 80% of our economy is now a cash economy, that tells us something. Arab is it. Let's move out from our ivory towers and come and work with the, the mass market, which is driving the economy apparently. As usual, my name is Charles Dewa. Mobile number 772 Seven one seven zero seven seven two one three seven seven one seven. We can use those numbers, please, to help each other. We want to place you appropriately in our value chains. Farmers, wherever you are, it doesn't help to continue producing quietly with no idea about the market. There is now so much competition. If you are producing cucumbers, you are producing chickens. Know that there are more than a hundred people who are also producing quietly without you knowing. So it is the market that can help you to place. To so, who are you competing with? If you want to know that, get in touch with the mass market. And then we can help you to position you within our value so that you don't lose money. So this is very important. It's the last advice from, from me. As usual, let's have a good day. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.